hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be another painting video and i am super excited to share this one with you guys because i'm so proud of this one i'm not even gonna lie i am yeah i think this is my best work so far so i decided to do a painting of another person i decided to do a painting of my <clears throat> my ex <laughs> it's okay i'm not some weird stalker he's actually like one of my best friends i'd say that i'm so sorry jordan if you're watching this i know you're cringing so bad <laughs> but we're really close and i wanted to paint someone i decided that the person who i paint should be someone whose face i know really well so he agreed to be my my model and yeah here we are so before I did this painting, I kind of had this idea that maybe the best way to paint a person or anything really would be to focus less on what I'm actually painting and just focus on the colours. Instead of trying to make his nose look like a nose or his eyes look like eyes or his lips look like lips, even though I was definitely trying to make them look like that. I was trying to focus more on just the colour placement, if that makes sense. Now, I don't know if what I'm saying is like basic stuff because I've never studied art or anything like that. So that to, to an actual artist or to a professional artist or whatever, this might be basic things that I'm saying and they might be listening thinking, girl, <laughs> like, hello, like this is class one stuff. Like we learned this at the very beginning. So if that's the case, then that's nice. Good for you but I've never studied that stuff in it, so let me just have my moment, okay? So anyway, back to what I was saying. I kind of had this, <laughs> this revelation or this thought that maybe it might be better to just focus on the colors themselves. All I'm pretty much doing is just layering the, putting the colors down where they are in the picture without trying to make the colors look like a face. I'm just focusing more on the colours themselves and the colour placement as opposed to what they're meant to be. So unfortunately at some point I got a notification and I didn't get to record the first part of me painting his lips and I'm really upset about that because I feel like the lips were like my favourite part, I did a really good job on them and then for some reason my camera's also zoomed out which is why the painting doesn't look so clear because when you zoom out on iPhones to like under zero it turns a little bit blurry which is not what I was trying to do but I think I probably just zoomed out without looking and this is the result that I got so I apologize for how poor the quality of this video right now is it will get better but it just means that you can't really see the lips process very clearly which is quite annoying And it gets worse. <laughs> it will get better, just bear with me. When you actually just look at the colours as colours rather than what they are and you simplify them, I feel like you end up creating something that is so much better. Because when you're when you're thinking, okay, these are some lips, I need to make sure that the colour of the lips is like this over here. And over here, the lips look like this. And you're really trying to make them look like lips. 
you end up just making them look like cartoonish you know if that makes sense Okay, this is my favourite part other than the lips. I just love like the small details. I have a thing for eyes as well. So here I'm just adding more shadows and highlights around the eyes, trying to give them more dimension. I'm adding dots of white as well as just patches of white as well to add highlights around his eyes and his face. Now I'm colouring in his iris with dark brown. I think I used raw umber but um, I might have mixed raw umber with something else. I feel like when you start to add the eye details, that's when the whole face starts coming together. So when you're painting eyes or colouring eyes, you're not normally going to actually colour them in white even though um, the whites of our eyes are technically white, they are not normally white. So they're normally like off-white or gray, or in this case, kind of brownish. So even though you can see that I've colored them in brown, once the painting's actually done, that eye white doesn't look brown. It just looks like a white eye with a shadow. So I'm using white to add highlights to the eye and just make it look a bit wet and three dimensional.
so now I'm adding in his eyelashes and I'm using I think I'm using raw umbar mixed with black I'm using that same colour to add in his beauty spots that are on his face. And I also used white to add some little highlights to his eyelashes and kind of just show where there might be light bouncing off them. And I did the same thing to the other eye. So now I'm filling in his eyebrows and to do that I'm using raw umber mixed with black again. I, th I think I'm using raw umber by itself and black as well as the mix that I made. And I'm just using this thin brush to add loads of little hair strokes until I'm satisfied with how full they look. And then I'm using white to add some highlights to those hairs and just make it look like there's light bouncing off them. And then for the other eyebrow, I'm just using black. And again, I'm using white to add some highlights to those hairs. So now I'm just going over the face and increasing the intensity of the white as well as the shadows in his face. I'm just trying to blend everything out but not too much because I, I want to keep that contrast in his face. So with his head top, I did struggle a little bit because the reference photo that I took had hair on it. Not too much hair, but you could see that he had some hair in that picture, but he didn't want me to paint a picture of him with hair. He wanted me to make it bald. So I was kind of in two minds about what I was gonna do and struggling a little bit, but I guess he, he got his wish in it and I didn't add in the hair. So now I've moved on to his facial hair and I'm using black as well as raw umber to add hairs on his moustache as well as hairs for his beard. I really love the way I did his facial hair. I think that's like, I don't even want to say one of my favourite things because <laughs> the whole painting, I just, I just love it. Like I just, I'm so proud of it. But yeah, I really love the way his facial hair turned out. So at this point, I was just adding like the, the start of his facial hair. I'm going to finish adding the rest of his facial hair once I actually fill in the background.
so now i'm filling in the background of the painting now i wanted it to be like purple and gold i did ask him for his input but he didn't really give me any he just said do whatever i want to do after i'd actually finished the painting he said he would have liked it to like have been like have like some sort of black on the outside and i actually think that would have looked really good but i didn't want to add the black afterwards and then ruin it so i just kind of stuck with what i did here so what i did is i mixed purple and gold with some mixing medium and i just brushed that onto the background in any kind of fashion i wasn't really trying to cover the whole thing i was just trying to make it look a little bit abstract i didn't really like the way how it looked so i mixed different shades of blue and like i did a little bit of purple and white to create this blue that i've just put around his head So after I finish painting the background, I've gone back to doing his facial hair and I'm just going to finish off his beard. So I'm using black as well as I think for certain hairs, I mixed black and raw umber. But most of the, the beard hairs I think I did were black. In the places where the hair is quite dense, I'm not really trying to be specific with the hairs that I draw, but on the outside, I'm using my thin brush to just add some little hair strands and make it look like really fluffy, I guess. So now I'm just going in with white and grey to add some dimension to his beard and just make it look like the light's hitting like some strands of hair. And here I'm just adding a final layer of colour on the dark side just to kind of blend out the shadows a little bit. At the end of this, I'm going to add some pictures and a video of this painting so you guys can get the final look. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this time lapse of me painting. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting again soon. So until then, make sure you guys take care of yourselves and stay blessed. Bye, guys.